Hello, this is Mark again uh, from SuperGenius99.com. Today's video lecture is going to be about greatest common divisor. Okay, so what is the greatest common divisor? Throw a little definition up here to kind of help you out. Greatest common divisor, that's the largest number that divides evenly into the two given numbers. So most likely when you have a word problem or something, they're going to give you two numbers and then they're going to ask you for the greatest common divisor. So we're going to start off with the numbers 72 and 8, okay? And one thing you want to note is that your greatest common divisor will always be less than or equal to the minimum of 72 and 8. So in other words, if we come up with the greatest common divisor, it cannot be greater than the smallest of the two numbers that we start off with. So whatever number we come up with is our GCD, it cannot be greater than 8. Okay, so now let's find the greatest common divisor. So what can we do to find the greatest common divisor between two numbers? What we can do is we can use a factor tree. Okay. And basically what the factor tree is going to do is we're going to build, okay, we're going to find all the prime factorization of the two numbers that we're given. Okay. So, let's start off here. So we got 72. So what two numbers can go into 72? What times what gives you 72? Okay, how about 8 and 9? Alright, and then you just keep on breaking down those numbers. So, what times what gives you 8? Okay, 4 and 2. And then what times what can give you 9? 3 and 3. And then 4 is not quite prime, so what times what can give you 4? 2 and 2. Okay. And then from there, what can we do? Well, from there, we write down all the prime factors. Okay, so the prime factorization of 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, now we can do the same thing for 8. So what times what gives us 8? 4 times 2, and then 4 is in prime, so it can be broken down. And then once again, we go back and we pick up all the prime numbers that are associated with this, with the number 8. So that's... 2, 2, and 2. So 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. Now to find the GCD, we do what? We look and see what these two numbers have in common. So let's see here. 7 has a 2, 8 has a 2. 7 has another 2, 8 has another 2. 72 has another 2, and 8 has another 2. So between 72 and 8, they have three factors of 2, which is 2 cubed, and then what is 2 cubed? 8. Okay. So the GCD between 72 and 8 is 8. And then once again, going back up here, excuse me, Sorry about that. The GCD between 72 and 8 is 8. And then going back up to my original statement, that number is not less than the, two, the minimum of the two numbers. So 8 is not less than 8. Okay, And that's what I'm saying. Your GCD has to be less than or equal to the two given numbers. Now let's try two more numbers. How about 76 and 52? Okay. So let's try 76 and 52. Okay. Okay, so going back to my original statement, once again, the GCD between 76 and 52 cannot be less than the smallest of those two numbers. So whatever number we come up with, it cannot be less than it cannot be less than 52. Okay, so let's draw a factor tree for 76 and 52. 
Okay. So what times what can give you 76? I got 2 and 38. And then 38 can be broken down to uh, what? 2 and 19. Okay, all those are prime. And then what about 52? What times what can give us 52? I got 2 and 26. And then 26 can be broken down to uh, 2 and 13. 2 times 13. Okay. And then now let's write down all the prime factors that are in common. So for 76 we got 2, 2, 19. For 52, we got 2 times 2 times 13. Remember, these right here are, are the prime factorization. Okay. Now, let's see what they have in common. So, they both have two factors of 2 in common, okay, which is 2 times 2 or 2 squared. And then what is 2 squared? 4. Okay. So, the GCD between 76 and 52 is 4. And once again, 4 is less than the smallest of those two numbers. So our GCD cannot be bigger than the smallest of those two numbers. Okay, then. This has been my video lecture about the greatest common divisor. You can see more videos online, www.supergenius99.com. Thank you for watching.